What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be short, sweet, simple, and to the point. It is another Blu-ray unboxing, but not an ordinary Blu-ray unboxing, the very last Blu-ray unboxing for the month of March. March, I will admit, I kind of fell off the wagon when it came to ordering off of Amazon. That was one of my resolutions for the brand new year to kind of back off from doing so. It's so easy just to push that pesky add to cart button. I need to slow down. January and February, I was doing extremely well, but I'll be honest, March, I completely fell off the wagon. So hopefully I can get back on for April. Now to the point of this video, Three packages have come in. My Blu-ray haul is scheduled for tomorrow as the video, so I need to open up these packages so I can include them in that haul video. So let's get started. What has come in from Amazon? What brand new titles, brand new releases, slip covers, 4Ks, what is in these packages? Let's start. Package number one, already pre-sliced open, because as you know, I don't like to mess around. So here we go. We have a Blu-ray with a slipcover, and it is The Fan. The Fan finally came in. I have been waiting for this for weeks and weeks. For some reason, it was backed up, so it finally was delivered a couple of days ago. These titles from Mill Creek with the VHS slipcovers on them, they are so cheap. $9.99 a piece. The fan came out at the same time as Fear and also Problem Child. And those were released, I would say about three weeks ago now. So yes, I've been waiting for this for a really long time. I ordered this because for the month of February, I was watching nothing but like psycho stalker movies and this would have fit right in, but it showed up way too late. So regardless, I now have the fan in my collection with the slip cover it came with the slip cover this time thank goodness and i've never seen this movie i've never seen the movie so i'm looking forward to seeing robert de niro playing some kind of psychotic i mean i know he did in cape fear but maybe this is a different kind of psycho so we've got the fan all right let's move on now we've got not one but two rip open packages you guys know how much i love these so here we go as I always say, there's no going back after the rip. So, well, sometimes there is, but I'm doing pretty good in this video. So I don't think I'll need to, maybe I just jinxed myself. I don't know. We'll see. All right, here we go. That was a good rip. What do we have in here? Whew. So excited. The movie that was not in Best Buy on Tuesday when I went for my Blu-ray hunting trip the Exorcist 3 4K. For some reason, my local Best Buy store had Dead Silence, but not Exorcist 3. So I immediately came home and ordered it off of Amazon. So happy that I did. Yes, looking nice. Wait, is that a Blu-ray case? No, it's not a Blu-ray case. Hold on. No, it's a 4K case. Reflection scared me for just a second. So possibly maybe watching this tonight? I have no idea. But we will see. Very excited to have that. And because I can't just order one thing. I mean, come on. That's just not possible. So brand new, San not brand new, but a Sandra Bullock title brand new to my collection. 28 Days. This movie came out, I believe, a couple of months ago on Blu-ray.com. And the price point was just ridiculously high. And I've been waiting. I've been waiting on this one to go down. I think it went down to about... 13 or 14.99 and I decided okay it's low enough for me to scoop it up and add it in so picked up 28 days I've never seen this title either so a lot of brand new never seen it surprise surprise for Susan to add into the ever growing collection I swear I will watch all of these before I die at some point I will I have an entire, hopefully, like 40 years ahead of me to do so. Okay, last package. All right, we're doing good. Here we go. Ooh, this one's going to be a good rip. That was a good rip. That was a good rip. All right, and in this package, oh, I'm so excited. It is my Blu-ray of 
party girl and it's nice and wrapped in plastic. Ooh, very nice. As I mentioned before here on the channel, this movie is so nostalgic for me. I remember watching this probably when I shouldn't have. I was probably too young to really understand this film, but this is where I first saw Parker Posey and I just thought she was just so cool. And back then, I didn't know at the time, but she was like the queen of the independent films. And I remember watching Party Girl. Oh my God, I'm just looking at, I'm gazing at this slipcover. It's just so amazing. So when this first went up for pre-order, it was like $39. It was super expensive, but the price dropped way down to about $21.99. I, I went ahead and got it. I don't want to say pull the trigger anymore because I know that that a uh, phrase kind of offends some people, I, I guess. I don't know. So I'm going to try to not say that phrase any longer. So anyway, back to Party Girl. I decided to add it into my cart because it went down to $21.99. And then actually, after I ordered it and it was on the way, it went down even more to about $20 and 69 cents or something. So I'm getting like a dollar back from Amazon. So really, I paid $20 let's just say $20.75 for this. There we go. So very happy to add this one in. I cannot wait to revisit this one. This is so nostalgic for me. You know me and nostalgia. I have a lot of fun with it. So I'm looking forward to watching this one as well. This slip cover is so nice. I like it. There's the spine. There we go. So you guys can see. So party girl as well. There we go. So that is it. Those are all of the brand new additions to the ever growing Movies and Sue physical media collection. So thank you so much for watching this video. Sorry, I just messed up, but I'm not re-recording again. Comment down below and let me know what have you been ordering lately. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time.